Now, I've got, I've got some good news today, and I just want to mention this this morning. One of the biggest assignments of my ministry, okay, I'm a coach and a mentor, but I also have a very, uh, I would have to say, a growing uh, prayer ministry uh, for praying over the land, praying over the nations, doing land assignments, water assignments, gate assignments. We've been doing them in, in the United States, and we've been uh, getting boots on the ground intercessors. We've been rallying the intercessors, training you up to do these, to redeem the land, to break the curses off the land, and bring in the plants and purposes of God. That's a big assignment for my ministry. Well, I have great news. Uh, the assignment in Norway has been done on the beaches of Norway. By Solveig, Solveig, are you here today, darling? My team and I were praying for her yesterday. The Lord led her that yesterday was the day for her to go and do her. And here is the amazing part. This is just incredibly amazing. You know, the Lord uh, led me and my team, uh, along with author Jeanette Strauss, uh, back in March of 2022 to the Atlantic Ocean Beach here in Virginia Beach, Virginia. There was a Neptune statue there. I say was because the Lord's taking it down. That is a depiction of an idol and a foreign god. That uh, is is disgusting. And uh, so we did communion on the on the beach uh, back in March, and I proclaimed that that statue would come down. And I proclaimed revival on the beach, and that n all the beaches along America, and that. Uh, no more demonic representations would, no idols, anything like that, would. they would all come down and they would all be destroyed and removed. And the Lord told me to rename that area where the Neptune statue is because, you know, people come and get their picture taken with it and stuff like that. I was commanding it to come down. Actually, I asked the Lord to strike it with lightning and melt it down. And we did communion on it. Well. We know we we the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking a better word there now. Well, the, when we go and do these land assignments, when you go and do a a water assignment or a gate assignment, or you do the land assignment, and we did one right there in the sand on the beach. There's a little scroll here, a little scroll in here, and these are the land kits and the in the water kits that Jeanette Strauss puts together. We have a, a partnership with her ministry. We have all the training on my website. Well, on the little scroll. Uh, Jeanette says to me, and we got the whole thing filmed. Jennifer filmed the whole thing. She says, what is the Lord leading you to name this place? Rename it. And I said, the lighthouse. The Lord's saying the lighthouse. That these beaches are a lighthouse for the nations, for the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ is the Lord over the waters, the Lord over the seas, the Lord's over the beaches. And so she said, lighthouse. So we wrote. Lighthouse, you know, renamed it, put the new title deed in there, went into the courts of heaven and confirmed it. Jennifer messages me yesterday and says, Solveig from Norway is doing the land assignment today in Norway because the Lord said for, because Norway's beach and Virginia Beach, Virginia, have the same, a, another st different statue called the Norwegian woman. So just uh, a few blocks down from where the, Neptune statue is. There's another statue called the Norwegian woman. And it used to be the masthead of a ship. And they took it and made a statue of it. And uh, it was when, I guess, some Norwegians were lost at sea when they were coming to uh, America. And so this, they took this masthead of a ship and called the Norwegian woman. And she's looking out to sea. And it's supposed to be like, oh, she's looking for her lost men or whatever so they took that and put it on the shore of virginia beach in the 1970s i guess and they made an exact replica and put it on a beach in norway and the lord said to me that that these two beaches that he wanted that woman uh statue rededicated to him and that that woman represents us looking for king jesus to come across the waters. 
And so me and Jennifer and Pastor Gino Shaw, Jeanette Strauss, we had a prayer meeting and we re-proclaimed that that Norwegian woman statue, the one in America and the one in Norway, we went to the Lord, we went into the courts of heaven, that we de dedicated it to God and that it would be known as the woman looking out to sea an expectation of the return of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So that day that we I was talking about it on the broadcast, this is this is God. He happens to have a woman from Norway on the broadcast. Named Salve. And she's like, hey, I just live a few miles from that beach where that Norwegian woman statue is in Norway, the same one that's in Virginia Beach. I'm like, what? And she's like, yes, I'll go do a land assignment. So we had to get the land kit shipped to her, the water kit shipped to her all the way in Norway, train her up, prepare her. She's been working with my team. Jennifer, you've done. I, I have to thank God right now for Jennifer Klinger because she has been working with Salvig in Norway to make sure that all she has everything she needs to do the land assignments, you know, all the, everything. So, Solveig, she messages Jennifer yesterday, and she said, oh, Jennifer, I'm doing the land assignment, and I've got the title deed. And I, uh, I went, she went to the Lord about what to name that spot. He said, Lighthouse. She didn't know. There was no way. Solveig could have known that the Lord said for me to rename that spot in Virginia Beach, Virginia, on the Atlantic Shore Lighthouse. There was no way she would have known that's what we, the Lord had us write on that title deed. Only God. So that is what's on the same title deed in Norway. That is in the United States of America. <laughs> Lighthouse. Two lighthouses coming together. You see, we are a lighthouse to the nations, a lighthouse for Jesus Christ. We are a city on a hill that, right, our light cannot be extinguished for Christ. He is the guiding light. And these demonic statues are coming down. Now, the Lord did not say that the Norwegian woman statue was bad. He just wanted, monuments are okay. You see, God is okay with monuments. We know that Joshua made a monument after they crossed the Jordan and stacked the stones. And the Lord said, this is a monument in remembrance of what I did here today. But God wants the monuments, remembrance of something in history. A monument's okay. A remembrance of something in history is okay. As long as it's dedicated to God. Okay? But idols, idolatry, statues that erect, that are erected in, and represent a, a demonic entity like Neptune are not good. They're against God. And those need to come down. So Salvig says to Jennifer, they want to put a Neptune statue up in that spot. They're in Norway on the beach. I'm like, no. So she went to communion and it's on our map now. It's named Lighthouse. That's what it's named for the Lord. There will be revival in Norway and on Norway's beaches and there will never Ever, ever, in the name of Jesus, there will never, ever, ever, ever be any demonic, foreign, idol, demonic thing on the beaches of Norway. Never. That Neptune will not make it to the beach. It will not. That land, that beach belongs to Jesus Christ. And we enforce the blood of Jesus on it right now. You see, this is why when, when we do the land assignment and the communion's in the ground, because all the repentance is done, every legal right of the demonic has been stripped because of the repentance. 
Then the blood of Jesus and the new title deed and the plans and purposes of God go forth and the angel armies come in and destroy every single demonic principality that's been operating there. Once the blood of Jesus is in the ground and we have it on our map now. Jennifer, did you get it on the map? So now what do we do? You can go to my website, AnnaMarieStrawhand.com, go to Land Assignment Index, pull up that map, and you can lay hands on it, and you can say, Norway belongs to Jesus Christ. The shores and the gateways of Norway now have the blood of Jesus, and the blood of Jesus speaks a better word. There is revival for the Lord Jesus Christ right now, rising up in Norway. No evil thing. No evil representation of any evil thing can be on the beaches of Norway ever again. It belongs to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has dominion. So you can pray that. You can speak that now because the blood of Jesus is speaking there. This is why we have you all do these land assignments. Do them according to the training that we're giving you. And uh, because now we have the legal right as representatives of the kingdom of God in the earth through Jesus Christ, by the authority of Jesus Christ, to continue to enforce where the blood of Jesus Christ has been poured because the blood of Jesus Christ is a legal transaction and takes dominion. It's our restraining order and we have to keep holding it up and proclaiming over it. We have all the training on my website to do that. Now, if you're living in a region or a city or you see things happening in your city or see things happening in your state or see things happening in your nation that are against God, answer the call of the Lord and come here and get trained up and learn how to be a boots on the ground intercessor and do a land assignment according to our training where you will be safe and you will not get any pushback from the enemy. And you've got me and my team and all these intercessors here praying for you. And I am so proud of Solveig in Norway. She went and did it all by herself, but she was not alone. The Lord Jesus Christ was with her. The Holy Spirit was with her. The favor of God was with her. And the angels of the Lord were with her. And now the blood of Jesus Christ is on the shores of Norway, speaking a better word and has dominion. And we all come into agreement with it. All for the kingdom and the glory of God for Norway. In Jesus' name. Come on. Woo! You want us to be able to do that with your city, with your state, all of us coming together and doing that for you? Don't sit there and say, oh, it's just so terrible. This is happening in my city. Oh, this is so terrible. This is happening in my country. Stop it. You'll get the stopping hat, right? Quit your complaining and do something about it. Put your feet to your faith. We have all the training here for you to do it. And we're all going to pray for you and come into agreement with you. And this is an example of the power of the Holy Ghost working between the nations through this ministry. Hallelujah. And we're here to help you too. Uh, so, David, can you put the picture of Solveig in Norway at the Norwegian woman's statue where she did the land assignment? Can you put it up, please? Look at that. I mean, I'm just overwhelmed with emotion when I see what God is doing. Look at God. Oh, my gosh. All right, there she is. She dedic rededicated the statue to God. Now, we already went into the courts of heaven ahead of her a couple of months ago. And Pastor Gino and I are going to get down to the beach to redo the statue, to rededicate that one to God. But we've already done it. You know, we've already done it in the spirit realm. And the blood of Jesus is already on our beach at the Atlantic. Okay. Uh, come on, God. Now, that statue is looking out to see the Norwegian woman, we proclaim, and come into agreement with the words of Solveig in Norway. She is an expectation of the return of Jesus Christ. That's what that represents. Now, uh, all right, show where she did the land assignment, the water, 
in the water assignment in the title deed. Put that picture up. All right, there's the water assignment from our water assignment kit. We sent her Jeanette Strauss's kits. Okay, there's everything. So she would have repented for the sins of the water. And uh, she would have uh, put uh, those items in there with the scriptures. She would have read the prayers that are in here with the scriptures. And then she would have done communion in the water. And uh, where the blood of Jesus Christ redeems it. And then she would have put the new title deed in the water and named it. Okay, beautiful. All right, and this picture here of the spot where she did the assignment on the land and the gate. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. Is that a little lighthouse? Is that a little lighthouse right there? Oh, my goodness. Makes me want to go see Norway. Isn't that gorgeous? Is that a little lighthouse right there? Oh my goodness, look at, there's a, look at that. There's a ship out there. That is beautiful. He's Lord over the waters. He's Lord over the seas. He's Lord over the rocks and stones. He's Lord over me. And that's the song the Lord gave me and um, to sing. So that's the spot now where the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking in the land that has been renamed a lighthouse. And isn't that beautiful? And there's a woman sitting there. Is that a woman that's sitting there? There's a woman sitting there. There's a man and a woman sitting there. So we pray for those two people on the beach right now, uh, there in Norway, to receive the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ and the baptism of the Holy Spirit at the power of the Holy Ghost that is operating there now, that every person... That comes to that spot. See, you can proclaim these things by faith. That every person that comes to that spot where Solveig poured the communion that is now dedicated to Jesus Christ, every person that comes to that spot now that will get a visitation from the Lord Jesus Christ and receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost and the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. You can proclaim those things that every person that ever comes and visits that place from this day forward, receives the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ and the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Those are the kinds of things I I, I speak. And um, Salveg, thank you. Thank you, David. That is incredibly beautiful. I wanted to tear up I when I saw uh, I, her standing next to that statue. Yeah, salvation for everyone on the cruise ship. Yes, Chippy. Salvation for everyone on the cruise ship because the waters are now dedicated to Almighty God. So every ship, every vessel in the water, and everyone in those vessels receive the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Okay, so Jennifer says Salveg will be here a little later from Norway. And yes, Lady Tex, it does look like that woman's wearing purple. David, can you can you kind of uh, zoom in on the woman sitting on the water, edge of the water, and what color her hair is. She's either wearing purple or her hair is purple. How prophetic is that? And if she's wearing purple, that's King Jesus. <laughs> that's purple biblically means royalty, the kingship of Jesus Christ. And that hill behind that nice round hill reminds me of Mount Tabor in Israel, which is the Mount of the Transfiguration, where Jesus went to the top of that hill and he had a supernatural meeting with uh, Moses and Elijah. And Simon Peter and uh, it was a Peter, Simon Peter and John and James. They witnessed it. That looks so much like Mount Tabor. Okay, David's going to put that back up. There is something very supernatural about this. Very supernatural. All right. Oh, my goodness. She is. Is that a person sitting there? What is that? 
almost looks like a person sitting there with a purple jacket. I'm not sure what that is, but it's definitely the color purple is representation of the, uh, yeah, of the kingship, the royalty of Jesus Christ. Now that round mountain, that round mountain in the back, that very rounded mountain looks much like Mount Tabor in Israel. I believe that is the, the mountain of the transfiguration. Uh, that Jesus Christ went to the top of that mountain and had that supernatural encounter with Moses. And the Lord has given me, you know, I see these pictures and things jump out and they're jumping out at you. Wow. Okay, Lord, you are the Lord Jesus Christ is transfiguring completely a, a transformation has happened in Norway and in the waters of Norway. Come on. A transfiguration has happened in Norway by the blood of Jesus. Norway has been redeemed. The land and the waters and the mountains and the shores, the rocks and the stones and the mountains. Norway, you have been redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, out of the hand of the devil. You are in the hand of God and set aside for the plans and purposes of God, all for the glory of God by the blood of Jesus. Come on, God. All right, everybody. Thank you, David. So that was an important update that I had to share with you all. We're going to be taking question, your questions in just a minute. Uh, but this ministry is a very, very, um, we are very focused and it's very important. This is our assignment as a ministry to do these land assignments all over the world. And I am just in awe of God and what he did with this Norway assignment. You know, I'm in awe of God of every person that he calls up to do these land assignments that we can get on the map and pray but to be able to transcend the nations now and the holy spirit you see the body of christ we are one in the spirit we are one in the lord and when you say yes lord i will do this he brings it all together with the right people with the right everything look at god look at god i'm just in awe of god you know, and I'm teaching you all to come into this obedience and doing land assignments first is a really important way to show the Lord you're going to be obedient with other things. And so this is why my ministry, why there's just, it's so important to do. So I want to thank my team and everyone for praying and coming into agreement with all these land assignments. Thank you, Jesus. And I want to thank Father and thank the Lord for assigning us to do these because the blood of Jesus Christ is speaking in these places. And we're going to see amazing moves of God in the glory of God in the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and revival come to these places like we've never seen before. Hallelujah.